This is so bad. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, can somebody please go and check on Mr. Luminaire if he's all right? Uh, somebody, please. Yeah, we will go and check. Okay, thank you, thank you. Oh. Oh. This is the biggest news of the month. No, of the year. <gasps> you could have done such a horrible thing. Nobody touches anything. This could be valuable evidence for us to solve the crime. Miss Watson is very, very right. Yes, I will be having to conduct interview with each one of you. And hmm, let's begin with you. What are your names and where were you at the time of the crime? Uh, well, my name is uh, Donald Copperfield and this is my wife, Elizabeth Swan. Well, I, I just know that I collapsed on the floor and, and so did my wife. Hmm. Mm. Well, the, well, before the train conductor ruined my one of my dresses, now it's all over the place, I collapsed somewhere next to my husband. Hmm. And so you said that you fell down, Mr. Donald Copperfield. Uh, could you please tell me where exactly did you fall down? Well, well, I can't be certain after all. Uh, after all, it, wa it was pitch black. Uh, I just know that I was next to my wife. Okay, fair, fair. And what about you, oh, madam? Oh, it was so dark. I think somewhere there. There. Oh no, it's 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 such a shame. You, your beautiful dress was ruined. Wait, this this happens to be part of your dress? Oh, oh dear, how did it get there? <laughs> I'm curious of that myself. Um, well, thank you so much. Uh, you, you may go back to your rooms. Now, who do we ha um, Now, how may I call you? Piotr, Piotr Vasilievich. Okay, Piotr Vasilievich. So, where were you at the time of the crime? Um, I was just taking the ride behind everyone else. Mm -hmm. And when the train stopped, I was trying to find my balance. Accident accidentally, I tore some of the dresses, like a tiny piece. Okay, okay, can, can I see that tiny piece? <laughs> uh, hmm, very interesting. Well, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Vasilich. You may, you may go, you may leave, okay, so. This is a tough one, detective. There's very little light here. <laughs> Get it? Because <laughs> there was very little light when the crime happened. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't get it. It's reporter humor. Uh, yes, so, Miss um, Emily Tucker, I bel I've noticed that you have been following me around and recorded every single thing that I have said. Uh, yes, everything I've said. Everything. Great. So, can you please tell me, where were you at the time of the crime? I... I was, I didn't really move around much. I just sort of, still. Oh, okay. Um, well, can you please point to me where exactly did you just? Oh, naturally, it was right, or was it? You know, it could have been. Uh, I don't really remember, silly me. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I know it. D uh, you know, reporters always have a very foggy memory. <laughs> uh, well, thank you, Miss uh, Tucker. You may go back to your room. <sighs> How mysterious oh, oh, diamond. oh, Miss Tucker, this, does this happen to be your suitcase by oh. any chance? Get back, what get is back, back to me. It's very important documents. Reporter stuff. Hmm. Suspicious. Well... Well, Miss Watson, mm, what do you make of this situation? <sighs> well, I'm, you know, I'm not a detective like you, so I think you would be a better judge of it, sir. Perhaps, perhaps. But, you know, sometimes fresh eyes can see what an old detective's eyes can't. Uh, well, I can't tell you exactly what happened. I was standing right next to Mr. L., Na when suddenly something big and strong pushed me and I heard someone say, catch, and I, then the lights came on. That's so interesting. That, that is very, very peculiar, though. Somebody help! <laughs> Thieves!
Stop! Stop! So where are you going? Hey! Hey! It's so dark in here! Can somebody turn on the lights? What? Hey! You! Stop right there! Stop right there! Stop! 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 stop. What? Miss Watson! Miss Watson! Oh. Please! Hand me the handcuffs! Hand me the hand! Okay, now, let's see who has been hiding behind these masks. <gasps> How scandalous! I knew these servants couldn't be trusted. A bunch of thieves! No, 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 <laughs> this is not good. I'm w I will be needing an explanation for this. Calm down, dear. Calm down. Calm down. Why are you trying to get into the smile room? Alona and Ivan, the servant. I know people like you. Yeah, that's, that's you. You're more than you look. Wait, officer, I'm not done. Uh, you want to deal with me? I will show you what happens when you deal with that gentleman. Oh. Uh, I will go to my room and see down, what sir. did You guys are thing. making me so much money right now. I can see it now. The story of the two little thieves. <laughs> I am waiting for an explanation. You fool. You think I will talk for you? Yeah. Horse doesn't talk without boss. And who is this boss of yours? I am. <gasps> That's my boss. Hmm. Miss Watson. Yes, sir. Please get everybody out of this room. Sir. Well, yes. I'm going to be interrogating this Excuse criminals. Me. No, no. Miss Emily. Miss Emily. So, Mr. Pyotr Vasilich, you willingly admitted that you have committed a crime. We did nothing of criminal sort. <laughs> really? So, how do you explain that both of your servants were ma wearing masks and were trying to get into Mr. Christoph's room, who, by the way, is helping Mr. Luminaire to get better? Look, everything seems bad on the surface, but actually, there is an explanation for all of this. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Criminals always have an excuse for themselves. Have you heard about the phrase, you are the salt of the earth? I'm sorry, but how does this have to do with anything? There is a reason for it. <sighs> Fine. Um, yeah, I guess I've heard it or read it somewhere once or twice. But have you ever thought about the meaning of this phrase? However, Jesus called his followers to be the salt of the earth. Ah, I get it now. You're orthodox. Well, Mr. Evgeny, I have a lot of respect for your religion, however... Wait, 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 wait. It doesn't have anything to do with religion. Wait. The salt helps us to preserve good things from the bad. And there are people who act like salt, preserving good things from bad. So you're telling me that there are certain people on the planet that help to preserve the good that it is that there is, correct? Yes, you're absolutely right. Salt help us to preserve good things by, for example, healing bacteria to keep good things uh, alive. But the, so you're telling me that by your servants break, trying to break into somebody's room and trying to steal something, you're therefore preserving the earth? Unfortunately, I can't reveal it for you now. Hmm. Well, then it's crystal clear to me. Mr. Pyotr Vasilich, Alyona Naivan, you're under arrest for attempted burglary and theft. Be careful, detective. Not everything you see is the way it looks. Lights off. 